decided to do a smart motorcycle helmet for our mechatronics project. Um, our, kind of our inspiration for the thing was that <clears throat> when you're riding a motorcycle, it's hard to tell when cars are right behind you. So to make it a little bit easier on the user, we put blind spot detection on each side. And these are done by ultrasonic sensors. Um, right now they're only set for 10 centimeters, but they can go up to 400 centimeters, which is roughly about the length of a uh, car, car light. Um, with those, it'll give you a light on each side indicating which of the uh, ultrasonic sensors are going off. And on the inside, as well with the light, we have buzzers that go off. Then on the top, we have a little photoresistor, so when it goes dark out, um, all the lights on the back of the helmet turn on. Another safety feature that we added on there. We upgraded to ultra bright LEDs in the back. We needed to use um, another power pack. Touch screen inside there that can control the visor up and down. Um, and it lifts it up just so you can get some airflow like while you're stopped. Or while even while you're driving. It doesn't go all the way up, mainly to protect your eyes from uh, dirt particles or rocks flying up at you. We used a cell phone charger as our um, battery pack to run the thing. It was super compact, pretty cheap, and you can put it in your pocket, so the rider doesn't have to carry a huge battery weight with them. Everything's like inside, and it's still lightweight, and you can wear it, and it's not like top heavy or anything. So. And we also uh, 3D printed these shafts from the inside, the servos. We also 3D printed this face mask right here. It took about 12 hours to make. So there's a picture of the Denver map, and then there's a warning, and then right here is the visor controls that will lift it up and down. So we have just the little breadboard that we were given in our kits. Um, our pick is mounted up in there, just kind of taped back into the foam. Um, and then all the wires come back and kind of have a little system running through the left and right sides from there. Um, and that's where the battery packs go into power. There's the servos mounted inside the foam, kind of just shoved in there, and then you have the buzzers right here, kind of above and behind the ear, so it's not just directly into your ear. <coughs> and then right here are the uh, sensor, ultrasonic sensors. You have to read the warning before you use it. It says, do not operate while in motion. Open the visor. Open the visor. And then there's a car on the right side. That light will go off, and if there's one on the left, that will go on. 